to another video how you're doing hope you're well so this morning we got up really early we left our site that we stopped at last night at about half nine and we ended up to the old man of store we did get some b-roll of that so we'll put that in in a minute but it's been really amazing we've loved the isle of sky so far but i'll quickly show you the b-roll about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know so the old man store it looks really beautiful and one day i'd love to actually come back and do the walk we're not really planning on doing too many walks on this trip so far i'm really enjoying just driving around and actually seeing all the places and taking it all in because it honestly is stunning like i love driving around it and it is so true that when you drive north it actually gets prettier so um what the plan is for today now after we've gone been to the old man of store is that we're going to go down because we're on the isle of sky you have to come all the way down to where we came in yesterday and we're planning on going to apple cross today but um we, first off we need to meet up with archie and me <laughs> Right, we're at the garage where Rob's managed to get the side skirts off his van. Uh, yeah, they're saving a bit of weight and obviously it means he can go over a bit more like ground clearance and stuff. So it'd be a lot better for him. Um, he's just in there now paying and then we're going to go and head to... Where? Apple Cross. I keep forgetting where we're going. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to go and head to Apple Cross. I think it's about an hour and 20 minutes from here. Um, yeah, I don't think we're doing anything else. I think we might stop on the way back out at um, Dorney Castle just to top up because I think there's a petrol station there um, so Rob was saying I think he's going to go there and fill up again for the long journey up north um, so we might do that as well just to kind of make sure we're topped up on fuel but yeah now he's all done paid up in that lot and we're just going to shoot off head up to Apple Cross <laughs> still about forgot again um, yeah head up there and then there's a beach was that a beach near there it was a beach near Apple Cross wasn't it I'm pretty sure there was a beach just up from Apple Cross was like all blue and stuff I think um, I'll update you on that later because that'll be tomorrow's plan. I think we're just going to plan on going around Apple Cross today and then finding a spot around there. I think that's the plan. Plans are changing on an hourly basis, so we'll keep you updated with what our plans are. But at the minute, it's just a heads to Apple Cross, which is an hour and 20 minutes away, and go and explore around there. So again, I'll just show some B-roll of the drive there. If anything happens, obviously, as usual, we'll give you a quick update. So we'll see you in Apple Cross. So thought we'd give you a quick update because we haven't recorded for the probably the last four or five hours. Basically what happened was after going over Apple Cross, Tab had a bit of a meltdown with all the hills and stuff like that, all hill starts. Um, and then we got to the other side, she did it fine. She stalled once, but it's only stalling once on that sort of like hill is fine. Um, and then once we got to the other side, the midges was just like relentless. Um, and we stood there for about 15 minutes and all of us was absolutely swarmed in it. And it was only going to get worse the more we went north, plus the roads were only going to get worse as well. So what we decided to do is to call it quits. The midges have won, the roads have won, um, but we are planning on coming back up later in the year when the midges die down a bit. So what the plan is now, we've come all the way back to Fort William, which is where we are now. We're actually parked at the bottom of Ben Nevis, North Car Park, I think it is, or something like that. So that's where we parked for tonight. Um, and we're going to go back into Fort William tomorrow, have breakfast in the morning because we want to have a Scottish breakfast. And then I think we're going to make the long drive back all the way to the Lake District, which is about a five-hour drive. We might end up stopping off at night or something. You know what I mean? We're just going to drive until we get tired and stop. Basically, the whole idea of this is just the fact that the midges are too much. Like, they're just relentless. We've even bought the hats with, like, the shades on and stuff, netting. But it's just not enjoyable. Like, you can't have the door open. I've had the door open washing the pots. And even as I'm sat here, I'm just getting, like, attacked by them and stuff. And it's just not fun. Um, none of us are enjoying it because of the midges even though the views are absolutely stunning but the views are always going to be here so what we plan is to do is to go south um, probably go to the Lake District for a few more days and then go down into Wales and then we're going to plan on coming back up to Scotland um, either September or more than likely though October we have a diesel heater in the van so the cold's not really an issue um, but at least the midges won't be around then and we can kind of go around and just enjoy it without getting bitten to death um so that's kind of what's happened i didn't do any recording because everything was up in the air 
everyone was tired. It was a long driving day. Obviously, I went driving. Luckily, I was just sat in the passenger seat. But yeah, so that's kind of the plan. It's kind of just, that's kind of the beauty of van life is the fact that you can just change your plans like that and just go somewhere else. If you don't like it, turn around and go back a different way and go somewhere else. You know what I mean? That's, that is the beauty of van life. You have ultimate freedom. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the idea now is to tomorrow go to Fort William, go and get breakfast. I think we're going to go to Glencoe as well and just kind of sit around there for a little bit relaxing and then we're going to head south. So I'll give you an update tomorrow what's actually happening because obviously things can change. And um, basically we'll just take day by day. So we're going to end the video here because we're all tired. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.